Hello friends, my name is Jennifer Samson and I'm going to teach you about addition of two 16-bit numbers using 8085 and for this I'll be using the tool sim 8085.com Okay, first I'll be explaining you about the program and uh, we'll go through the instructions that are available over here as it is a 16-bit uh, program that you're going to implement you'll be using HL register pair and this HL register pair is available over here so LHLD load HL register pair with the values available in 2050 and 2051. So these are the memory locations over here. 2050 and 2051s are the are having two 8-bit data. Those two 8-bit data are going to be moved to HNL. 2050 will be having a data that will be moved to L register. 2051 will have a data and that will be moved to H register. Next. I need to do my operation using HL register pair. So I need to move this HL register pair value to some other data, some other register. So I'll be using XCHG. You may be aware that when you're doing an 8-bit addition, the default register is going to be your accumulator. Similarly, for your HL, for your 16-bit data, the default register is going to be your HL register pair. Okay, so with that in mind, please remember that HL register pair is going to be the default part for your addition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the HL data value into another location and for that I'm going to use the instruction XCHG. XCHG is going to interchange the values of HL register pair with the DE register pair. So the data available over here will be moved here and the data of DE will be moved to HL register pair. So it is just going to be in swapping the data from DE to HL. Next what is my third instruction? I'm going to get my second data for the 16-bit addition. And for that, I'm going to use the instruction LHLD again. But the instruction now is going to move to the particular location 2052. So 2052 and 2053, two 8 bit registers are having the data now, my second input data. And 2052 data is going to be moved to L register. 2053 data is going to be moved to H register. This is what is going to happen. Now I've obtained my two different data using these three instructions. What is my next instruction? What happens if I get a carry? So to initialize that, I'm going to initialize my C register to 00. So in case there was a value earlier available over here, it will now be initialized to 00. My next step, perform the addition. So ADD is the addition uh, instruction that you do for 8-bit. When you do it for D, uh, a 16-bit, you will give DAD, which means double addition. And you know by default, HL register is the default register. So I need to point out to the other register where my data is available. As of XCHC, my default register has is DE register. DE register pair is the you know, having my second input data and HL register pair is my other. So HL is default, DE is my second input. Now what I'm going to do is the 16-bit addition is performed in this particular instruction and my next step is going to be checking for carry. If there is no carry, I'm going to the loop instruction over here. If there is carry generator, I'll be coming to INRC. So carry, when, how am I going to check this GNC jump not carry? It is being checked with this particular flag over here. So if this particular part carry flag gets ticked over here, what happens? It means my particular carry is generated for this input, for these two inputs. And what will happen? If carry is generated, no, uh, what will happen? It will come to this INRC. So what happens? Carry flag enable means I have to in, in, uh, increment my particular carry C register value by one. So if what will happen, my 0, 0 will now become 1 over here. So what will happen now? By default, move A, C. Move A, C means C register value is moved to A register. So as of if my carry is generated, 1 is moved to A register. So what is going to happen? STA. STA means store accumulator. Where am I going to store it? In 2055. So in 2055, the incremented value of my C register, which means a carry generator will now be saved over here. If there is no carry available, what will happen? This particular step is being neglected. It is bypassed and what will happen? The default value of C register, which was 0, 0, will be moved to A register. Please remember, if there is no carry, this particular step is being skipped off and my default value of C register having 0 will be moved to A register. And again, what will happen? A register having the value 0 will be moved to 2055. Either the case, what is my next step? I need to move my particular double addition output into the HL, from the HL register pair to the output location 2056. This is what I specify.
So as you may be aware, in 8-bit uh, addition, the default output resistor is your accumulator. Similarly, in your 16-bit addition, the default output resistor is your SHLD, which is going to be the HL resistor pair. And that I'm moving it to my output resistor 2056. And after that, I'm going to halt my particular program. So now we'll be giving some inputs to check what is going to happen. So first we'll check it with carry and then we'll check it without, uh, sorry, first we'll check without carry, we'll give some inputs, then with carry, we'll check some inputs. So first what is what I have to do, I have to go to the memory location 2050. So I'm going to type 2050 here. So what will happen? I have 2050. So this is my first input memory location. So first I'm going to give my particular first input value, for example, I'm going to give 1, 1. So my next input is going to be, for example, 2, 2. Then I'm going to add this with my second input, which is going to be again some value, for example, 1, 1. And I'm going to pick my other input of my 16 bit to be 2, 2. So what is happening over here? My first input is in 2050 and 2051. As I told you, 2050 will be moved to L, 2051 will be moved to H. So this is my first 16-bit resistor, 1122. Then my next input resistor is 2052 and 2053. So 202052 and 2053. So this is my next 16-bit input. And this is going to be moved into my HL register pair. So when we run this program, we'll be getting an idea. So what is my first input as I told you? 1122. So as I told you, 2050 is having the L register, is moved to the L register. So we can check that. So 2050, it has the value of 11 and that is moved to my L register value 11 over here. What is my next value? 2051. 51 is having the value 22 and that is moved to my H register. So 50L51 moved to H register pair. Now what is my next step? Exchange. So what is going to happen? 0000, 0, 0, 0 is going to be moved to HL and HL value is going to be moved to D. It is just going to be 22 over here and 11 over here, 0000 0, 0, 0 over here. So this is what is going to happen. So it is just being swapped. This is my next step. So what is my next third step over here? I'm going to get my second input. Similarly to similar to my first step, I'm going to get this 1122 into this particular value, 1122 over here. So that, that is what you got it over here. So with that coming to the picture, now in case I have a carry or don't have a carry, I'm just going to in initialize my C register to value 0, 0. So my C register value already is 0, so there's not going to be any update over here. And what is my next step? Double addition. Double addition means 2, 2, 2, 2 plus 1, 1, 1, 1. So 2, 2, 2 plus 2, 2 is 4, 4. 1, 1 plus 1, 1 is 2, 2. So this is going to be my output over here. And this is going to be out, uh, outputted in my default HL register pair. Please remember, in my single 8-bit uh, bit addition, my default register is my accumulator. When it comes to 16-bit, my default output is going to be stored in my HL register pair. So my data will be 4422 and that will be available over here. It will not come into my memory location 2055-2056 now because these steps are remaining. Now I'm going to check whether any carry is being generated. By default, you know for this input, no carry is going to be generated. So when no carry is generated, what is going to happen? The carry flag is checked, no carry, so it is going to bypass this particular step and come into this particular loop condition. So what is this particular loop condition? Move the C value into A register. So A register, C register value is now 0, 0, it is being moved into A register. And now what is going to happen? Store accumulator. The accumulator value of 0, 0 is moved into 2055. 2055 is available over here and that value is being now going to be updated with 0, 0. You will not be seeing any changes of now. And what is going to happen next? I'm going to store my particular value 4422 into the location of my 2056 and 2057. So this is what is going to happen over here. 4422 will be now available in my particular value of 2056 and my 2057. So this is my output over here. So when I do that, you will be able to see that L value of my particular value will be available over here and my H value of 44 will be available in the next corresponding location. So this is my particular working of my 16-bit addition without carry. Now if I can uh, take an example in the case where I'm going to consider with carry, what I'm going to do for example is I'm just going to give a particular different value for example. I'll be giving a value f. I can give a value ff over here. When I give a particular value ff over here, I can give another simple value of 0, 0 over here. Then I can give another value of 0, 5 over here. 
0 pi over here and similarly I can give another value of 0 1 so what is going to happen over here in this particular example I am going to add 5 and 0 similarly I am going to add the value of ff and 0 1 so this is my h ff is h 0 1 is h so what is going to happen over here in this particular example ff is added with 1 which means I am going to get an output 1 0 0 which means I am going to get a carry so this is h this is h this is l this is l so this program I am going to implement over here so first I am going to run this particular program so I am going to do it step by step so 2050 now my particular value is updated with ff 0 0 then my next step what I am going to do I am going to exchange it and moves to the DE register pair then I am going to get my second input which is nothing but 0105 so this 01 is going to be added with ff and 05 is going to be added with 00 so what is going to happen over here ff plus 01 is 100 which means a carry is going to be generated so mvc comma 00 it is initialized to 0 now when I get a double addition please remember ff plus 01 a carry is going to be generated if a carry is generated my carry flag will be ticked over here so you can see that my carry flag gets ticked over here which means a carry is generated and my output you can see over here my output is 0055 because earlier it was 00 and 05 adding 00 and 05 again I am going to get 05 so what is going to happen because I have got a carry over here this particular step is not going to get bypassed so this particular step is going to come into the picture so INRC which means my C value which was 00 is now going to become 01 so you can notice over here C value which is 00 is now going to become 01 what is my next step the C value I cannot move it directly to our memory location outside so I am going to move it to a register so 01 is going to be moved into this particular location accumulator so this 01 is moved into the accumulator and where am I going to move this particular output value into 2055 so what is going to happen you can see that 2055 which is available over here this memory location will now get an updated value of 01 so you see that this is getting an updated value of 01 over here and my last step you know that your output what is your output 0005 this 0005 will be now available in 2056 and 2057 so when you run that particular step you will see that 0005 this particular value higher register value will be in the highest value and the lower register value 05 will be in the lower register value 2056 2057 i hope you understood the working of this extended uh, addition of 2 8 and uh, to uh, using 8085 and uh, please try this you will be getting some more uh, answer thank you